Scalable Scenario Testing. Scenario testing is a software testing activity that uses scenarios, hypothetical stories to help the tester work through a complex problem or test system. Uh, the ideal scenario test is a credible, complex, compelling or motivating story, the outcome of which is easy to evaluate. Uh, these uh, tests are usually different from test cases. Uh, in that test cases are single steps where scenarios cover a number of steps. So we will have a collection of steps so that we are uh, applying it and we are trying to find some error. Scenario testing is done to make sure that the end-to-end -end function of software is working fine or all the business process flows of the software are working fine. Um, so the main component here is uh, element, testing, agent for actors, goal for objectives, plot, actions and events. Let's see some characteristics of scenario testing. The, here, as I said earlier, the test is based on a uh, coherent story about how the program is used, including goals and emotions of people. Uh, the story is credible. Uh, stakeholders will believe that something like it probably will happen. Failure of the test would motivate the stakeholder with influence to argue it should be fixed. If the story involves uh, complexity, a complex use of the program, or a complex environment, or a complex set of data. Uh, <coughs> Uh, test results are easy to evaluate. Uh, that is important for scenarios because they are complex. So let's see some benefits of scenario testing. Uh, we can easily learn the product, connect testing to documented uh, requirements, expose failures to deliver uh, desired results, export, explore the uh, export use of the product. So these are the possible benefits of uh, scenario testing. And Scenario testing, uh, so what are the suitable uh, scenario testing scenarios? Uh, list possible users, so these are the things we need to plan earlier. List possible users, work alongside users, interview users about famous challenges and failure of the old system. Um, look at the specific transaction that people try to complete, such as opening a bank account or sending a message. What are all the steps, data items, output, displays, etc. That everything we will collect. Look for sequences. Uh, consider disfavored users. Analyze their interest, objectives, capabilities, and professional opportunities. What form of do the users work with? Work with items like reading, writing, modifying, etc. Uh, write life history for objects in the system. List system events, list special events, list benefits and create a to end task to check them. Read about what system like, like this are supposed to do. Study complaints about the predecessor to the system or its competitors. Create a mock business. Try converting real life data from a competing or predecessor application. Look at the output that competing applications can create. So these are the things we need to do before doing the scenario testing. And the methods used in the scenario testing are system scenarios, use case and role-based scenarios. System scenarios make sense. Um, in this method, only those set of uh, realistic user activities that cover several components in the system are used as a scenario test. Like uh, uh, we can use storylines, state transition, business verticals, like that. Implementation story from custom. Now, use cases and role-based scenarios. From the name listed, here we are using test script, test suit, session-based testing, that is time-based rather than contact-based. These kind of things we can use. Then, various means of executing this test groups, especially the role-based scenarios are manual testing or we can do automated testing. So, these are the basics about uh, scenario testing. <coughs> 